morning. Another day, another run. In fact, today is Saturday and I'm doing my long run currently. I hope I get this right because last few days, last few runs, I have been recording videos trying to capture my runs and a sort of a running commentary along with it. Didn't work because I messed up the audio again. I ended up holding the mic in the wrong way and the sound was screwed up. So anyway, I'm trying again today. Eventually I know that I will learn how to do this and I will succeed. long run uh, 16 kilometers at a very easy pace 5.45 to 6 minutes per kilometer and what in fact what tires me is uh, holding this camera Ooh. my arm is already eating. it's a lovely morning not so cool a little humid but any day you are able to run is a good day I think many would agree to that interval session on Wednesday so yeah, even the interval session was not so uh, hard it was sort of at a, a relatively relaxed pace and I didn't have much difficulty navigating it anyway I was supposed to do a couple of strength sessions which I out of which I did only one. Skip the second one because on Thursday I was uh, I felt a little bit of niggle on my left uh, inner thigh, which which is quite unusual because I mean I I don't know what movement kind of triggered it. Probably while stretching after the run, or maybe I don't know what exactly triggered it because. It's not a usual area where you get injured, at least I don't think I use those muscles a lot towards the inner thigh. So I don't know what triggered it but anyway, Thursday I was supposed to do some lower body workouts which I completely skipped. Well it paid off because today is Saturday and I'm feeling fine. Sometimes you need to make that sacrifice you need to make the trade-off the sun is getting really hot now I think I need a walk break because my arm has started aching again really can't uh, hold the camera for long anyway so I was telling you about my workouts so that sort of uh, brings me to the end of this deload week and next week again I have the heart sessions coming up so I'm not I'm not pushing myself too hard uh, in this session I'm going to take it easy, save my energy for 60 kilometers of workout next week and plus coach has given me some other strength workouts to do extra weight lifting. He found out that I, I'm working out in the gym uh, 
from my Instagram posts. Um, he said, since you're already going to the gym, do these extra workouts. So I'm going to do it. has really caught on and I'm not even halfway through the workout the only way to cope with the heat is to keep drinking water and probably douse yourself with as much water or ice as possible or cold towels and that's how I've been doing it yeah and as much as I could complain about this, about the heat, about the running uh, conditions in Lagos. I can't complain about the effect it has on my training. All the workouts which I've done in this hot climate is going to probably make me a little tougher. Because when you run in colder climates um, in Europe or US, your body doesn't heat up as much as it does in hotter climates so it's good for me even in my previous training uh, for room marathon uh, the conditions were really brutal here 30 degrees 32 degrees sometimes and uh, along all my long runs I think half of them were not I wasn't able to meet the goal pace in half of them, I think. Towards the end especially, when it got really hot towards February and March. But uh, eventually, uh, with all the travel and the tiredness, when I ran the room marathon, I ended up uh, cruising through it. So I saved a lot of energy for the end. And, and I realized that towards the last five kilometers that I could really maintain a four and a half uh, minutes per kilometer pace without losing breath so was good was good and sort of that reassures me that all this training in this heat in this hot weather is not worth complaining about in fact I should appreciate it and <laughs> look forward to uh, running racing in cooler temperatures kilometers done and just taking a breather every bit of shade you get is a bonus I'm just hiding behind this road elevated road sort of a ramp towards the bridge behind against the sand and drinking a bit of water it got a bit cloudy in between but <coughs> sort of just the sun came back out pretty strong so it's kind of uh, the only way to beat this heat is to keep hydrating and probably uh, increasing the frequency of your fueling <coughs> but today I didn't bother I'm, I'm carrying a gel but I didn't bother to eat because I'm just 16 kilometers at a uh, slower pace relatively and but I'm still carrying it just in case because sometimes <coughs> you just crash and you can't complete your run otherwise it happened to me a few times maybe a couple of years ago uh, I just crashed in the middle of the run didn't have the energy anymore so it's always good to carry a gel or some uh, fuel with you, whatever suits you. Nice little bird. 
so anyway I'm way behind the target pace I'm running at less than six minutes per kilometer I mean uh, higher than six minutes per kilometer pace uh, last six kilometers so I'll stop shooting I'll stop taking breaks now and try to catch up with the pace I I have to meet the target else my coach would think that I'm slacking off <laughs> making videos all right cheers let me get back <laughs> kilometers at six minutes and three seconds per kilometer oh, I didn't quite meet the target in the end it got really hot and wow look at that voila the clouds are out just as my run finishes it decides to get uh, windy and cooler and no sun well it happens anyway funny thing happened in in the 15th kilometer uh, I sort of ended up um, losing one of my contact lenses on my left eye so sweat just started pouring in because of the heat and it went into my left eye I rubbed it too hard and my contact lenses came out so minor minor obstacles minor hurdles anyway so I'm done for this week it has been a good week overall uh, I'm still under the euphoria of having registered for the marathon I'm yet to book my tickets but I've booked my hotel and uh, sort of planned my itinerary this week uh, this last week I've been spending a lot of time trying to figure out uh, where to move or where to go next which places to travel to uh, considering going to Botswana maybe or Madagascar or maybe Sao Tome and Principe if you have been to any of those places do leave a comment and let me know which of the places are worth visiting or why is it worth visiting I'd appreciate that and once I decide where I'll go for my next holiday I'll let you guys know so stay tuned and if you haven't subscribe yet please do like and subscribe my marathon is roughly 100 days 107 days or so from now and trying to keep a daily blog on daily update on how the training is going so thank you for joining me here and please do stay tuned for the updates